Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Jamal and this is my son Zaid. And let me show you what I'm going to cover in this video. In the last video, I created this basic custom Elementor widget. And in this video, I'm going to convert it like this by applying some features to it, like add option for color and typography. I'm going to keep this video short by only applying some features. But I do believe this video is a starting point for you, so you can add limitless features to your custom Elementor widget. Before I start, I want you to know here you will find basic to advanced tutorials on WordPress, website and social media strategies, web development and UI UX. Please consider subscribing to this channel if this is something you are into. Okay, enough talk, let's start. If you did not watch the last video, then I'm requesting you to watch it first, so you understand better. I put the link in the description. So in the last video, we applied a content section under the content tab. And in this video, we will apply a style section under the style tab. And all our style options will stay under this style section. Okay, so let's open our card widget.php file. Here we see we ended our content section here within the register control function. So now we will start writing our style section code from here. So I copy and pasted this. And here you see this is the style section start and this is the end of the style section. And within this, here we will write all our style option. So with the label, we named it style. And with the control tab style, we are saying that this style section should be under style tab. So if we go to the dashboard after saving, here you see first there is only content and advanced tab. But when we refresh it, and let's see, waiting for some seconds. Okay, so here is our widget. And after refreshing, you see our style tab is here. So if we click on the style tab, here we see the style section. So it's currently empty because we didn't write any field or any option for style section. So we will now start writing. Okay, so let's get back to the card widget.php file and start writing our first option within the style section. So I'm writing, actually I'm copying and pasting this. And here it is just a heading control and we named it title option. And this separator before is actually uh, mean that there will be a border before the heading. So if we save it and refresh the page here, so we will see, let's wait. Okay, so we will see when we click on the style tab, we will see within the style section, our title option is appear here. So it is just to understand that all our uh, option for styling the title will stay under this title option. Okay, so let's write our next control. So I'm writing a color control for title color. So here you see this is a color control and we named it color and this is the machine name. I mean the ID, uh, it's title color. And here you see the default value we can put here with hex code. And with the selectors key, we can write more than one CSS rules here. So if we save it and if we go to the dashboard and refresh it, let's see what happens. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. So here you see, first, uh, this is the red because we applied uh, the default color red. And if we go to the style tab, here you see our color option is here. So we can change the color we wish. Yeah, you see it's changing, okay. So if we now save it and if we inspect it, let's say after preview, if we ins uh, inspect it and what we will see, 
is you see here this is the uh, generated code so our widget will add custom CSS rules to the page CSS and uh, here these these are actually the parent elements of the h3 and it's coming from because of these wrapper elements and here we targeted the h3 but as we see our html code is like h3 but with a class card title so if we also write card title instead of h3 then it will have the same output and uh, that this value is actually representing the value of the color so this means like with wrapper h3 and color value is actually outputting this so the wrapper is actually outputting this and this is the h3 and this is the color and this is the value so i hope you get it okay so let's add our next control so i'm copy and pasting this so we are adding a group control now and the first parameter of the group control is group control typography we name it title typography and we are targeting the a3 title with the parent element so if we save it and refresh the page and if we click here here you will see in the style tab you see the typography option so we can change the font family font weight and letter spacing line height and so on so if we update it and uh, let's see the preview and let's inspect it so after inspecting you see here is the typography css rules comes here so i hope you get it okay guys so we are halfway to the video and now i'm requesting you to please click the like icon below the video so it reaches to the more people okay so we are now done with the title styling option now we will write the option for description field so let's get back to the widget file and then i'm copying and pasting this you see there are three controls and these controls are similar to the title so first our heading and then changing the color option and then changing the typography option i'm not explaining it more because these are similar to the title option but if you have any confusion then please comment below and i will be happy to reply to the comment so if we save it and now go back to the dashboard and refresh the page and if we click to the widget and then go back to the style tab and you see here is the option for our description field we can change the color of the description you see the color is changing and also we can apply the typography option here you see all, all of the options is available here so cool right okay so if we now apply some style to the widget then this widget becomes like this so what i did is very simple things you just need to click to the widget and if you go to the advanced tabs and then you can change the background from here you can apply some padding here so you will have some space around the widget and if we go to the style tab then you can change the color typography and so on so you have controls over your widget now okay so now you know how you can apply features to a custom elementor widget now it's your time to apply more features to a custom elementor widget by looking at the elementor documentation and i believe you can do it I am planning to cover more Elementor advanced things in the future. So please subscribe to this channel to get notified. Also please check the description below for some awesome WordPress themes you may like for your next project. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care.